Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm going to be skinning the greenhouse. If you tuned in yesterday, you saw me put in these buckets of water to help this thing so it didn't uh, blow around so much. It worked. Now I got buckets of ice. Pretty cold. Okay, let's take a look at the instructions here. So what they call for is to run one of these, you connect together seven of these pieces to make one long pipe. Then you put it through the bottom of the side, you lay the side over there, put that through it, and then they want you to tie two ropes to it and pull it over the top. I believe the last time I did this, I did put the pipe in, and I believe I just pulled it over uh, stood on the ladder and walked it over the top. Once it's over the top, it's pretty darn easy to pull it down the other side. So that's what I'm going to try first. I brought some spring clamps and some wood clamps over as helping hands so I can uh, pinch it to the top rail while I reposition if I need to. These th things are really great for working by yourself okay and then at the end once you got it over see they got the ropes on pull it over and then at the end I was wondering what the hell this one was and you know they got the pipes going away so they're just saying to take the pipes apart and pull them out and then the strings going away as well and then let's see if I can do this the next step is to ratchet it down so it doesn't blow away and then um, pull these bracing bars, whatever the hell they're called. There's no words in today's uh, instructions. Pull these off one at a time, slide them through the pocket in the, in the cover rebolt them on and adjust it till it's about eight inches off the ground. Just work your way down and then do the same on the other side. I think this is where them, uh, them clamps will come in real handy for that as well because I got a decent breeze coming out of the southeast which is roughly that way. I'm kind of sheltered right here but um, every once in a while there's a decent breeze and that could be kind of disastrous for me here. So because the wind's coming from that way, I'm going to set up over there and pull it up and over and hopefully things go smoothly. If, uh, if need be, I'll get my wife and she can help, but she's doing the bills right now and I believe I can do this myself. So let's get started. Okay, got the pole through. The place where the pole is going through there is actually the pocket that these bottom, I guess, bracing members, whatever the hell they're called, 
those end up going through there in the end. So this is just used to pull it over. I guess they use these just because you got some pipe exposed here and there. And that's where they want you to tie the string to. In the end, they'll go into this pocket here to give weight. And I was wondering if there was like a redesign on these pipes or not. They come apart real easy. And if you just do like the instructions say, and put this long pipe in that long uh, pocket there, the pipe will come apart within a day. Uh, a little bit of wind and flopping around, the pipe will come apart and start clanging around inside the pocket. I have Gorilla Tape and I will tape each one of these joints before I put it through. Um, but other than that, it's ready to go and it's oriented right. This needs to be on the inside so it'll flip up and become on the inside, on the far side. I got a bunch of junk I gotta pick up. I have some clamps up there staged, but I was thinking about it. I really need to have a couple over here because I think if I clamp it up here, I'm going to have to run over here and clamp it there, possibly, to uh, if a breeze comes up, and then I'll have to wait for the breeze to stop. Yeah, the wind's coming from that direction, so if I can stop it from getting under this thing in this corner, I should be good. Okay, I'm going to give it a try, and if I can't do it, I will enlist my wife, and we'll get it. We'll get it on one way or another. this together this side of the shelter has like really tight knots on it it was uh, pretty hectic trying to get the knot untied on the far side there that was the most critical corner and I go to untie the knot and it's it's tight as tight as hell. Um, all of the other ones, the ones for the ends and the other two knots on the sides were real loose and easy to untie. But must have been somebody's first day at work when they did this side. Okay, so you want the hook facing towards the shelter and then you can ratchet it a few times until you have the correct angle so that it slides through and comes out the front. Then just hold it like this and then try to get it on. Try to get it on the foot down there. Let's see if I can. I may have to loosen up the other side. No. There we go. Okay. I gotta loosen up the other side so I got more, uh, or maybe just pull it tighter.
Okay, having this window open is no longer a good idea. It's just filling the filling the thing with air. I can leave the other one open for now. This side needs a good deal of tightening. Um, but I'll have to go back and forth between tightening this up and getting my uh, pocket in the right place. This pocket needs to end up eight inches above the ground. Get inside. It's pretty close. So I gotta jog it until this pocket will accept this pipe and then push it, pull it, whatever it takes to get it about eight inches off the ground, then tighten it up. Yeah, it looks like it needs to come forward a little bit as well. We got the edge of the you can see the this is where the opening should be it looks like it needs to come a few inches this way what have we got here about three inches forward and that makes sense this this front is like barely barely on there so I have to go back and forth and get this uh, jogged into place and then start putting the start and putting the pipes through the pockets there. It's looking like a greenhouse though. And I would be willing to bet, I don't know how well you can see through this screen, but I would be willing to bet that really quick this snow that's in here will melt and be gone according to the weather forecast we're going to be getting a good deal of snow it's just three inches but depending on the drifts if it's coming drifting over this hill who knows how much snow we'll have down here so it's really good that i got this up okay i'm gonna start getting pipes in i gotta put these get these taped i got the gorilla tape in the house staying warm you can see where it's coming apart right there so i'm just gonna go through this tape the whole thing and then slide her in that'll give me a little more weight down at the bottom here that's that's what i was talking about with this why the hell this has no weight in it I have no idea, but it looks I do have to take those pipes back out because it's going to interfere down here with the ratchet straps. So I'll have to figure out something else for this floppy front and back. All right, I'm going to get these pipes in first. Well, I was going to tape the pipes and slide them through. They're supposed to go into this bottom pocket here, but the bottom pocket has no opening. I checked all the way around. There's no opening to this bottom pocket. This pocket right here is for this. So, yeah, I, I don't know where the hell, where the hell the opening is for that. But I don't have time to dick around with it right now. I really need to yank this up. I got to take that 
take that one off, disconnect that one, yank the whole thing over just a touch because you can see that this side just doesn't quite meet the ground and this side has a good I don't know eight ten inches on the ground so I gotta kind of drag her over the top a little bit until it looks like it's even and then ratchet this down again and I also need to pull it towards this way so that my pockets align in there so I'll get that done I can do that stuff last okay that went a lot easier than I thought we are roughly got a hair on the ground there have a hair on the ground here and most importantly on the inside the pockets align with the uh, the frame so now I think it's time to get in and uh, and put the, the at least two pipes in there and start getting this together okay I'm getting ready to put these crossbars through the pockets but I noticed something from yesterday when I was putting the front and back on these diagonal bars and we had this problem to some extent on the other shelter as well uh, they're real hard to get on and this one is actually worse because their machine must be off that's punching these holes because they're coming through on an angle. So when I put them on, I had to connect this side first and then kind of bend it in to get that in. So now that it's together, I'll probably have to do that process again, disconnect it up there and uh, bend it back in. Real pain in the ass. Okay, the measurement on this, this is our shelter logic shelter, a little taller than the other one by two feet, but these poles are at eight inches, eight inches off the ground. The ones on the other one come up all about here, so they're you know 11 12 inches off the ground but the instruction is like a generic instruction i mean it shows greenhouse stuff on it but it it has this part as being eight inches it is not going to happen at eight inches there is just no way on earth that that top can be stretched so that they're eight inches down the instructions are wrong so I'm gonna have to go adjust it to whatever is even on both sides and then continue with that all the way across see on this they run just below where these holes are fairly even on both sides I'm gonna put this one in push it down get this skin as tight as it'll go and then just go back and forth on these two until they're at an even height. Measure that height and continue down with it. Really, really, really shitty instructions.
Okay. I have all of the bars in on this side and it looks like it's coming to exactly 12 inches off the ground not the eight inches absolutely not the eight inches that shelter logic um, has in their instructions and basically you just go one at a time you slide slide the pole through you got to disconnect two of them uh, at any time to get the poles through slide them through and then uh, Get the bolts through hold it together and slip them on snug them down a bit and then I recommend uh, a dead blow Tap it down until I just went 12 inches to the center of the bar uh, no reason to get really anal on that but that's what that's what these come to. So I'm going to show you the uh, corner one. They're a little more difficult because they have to go behind the fabric for the front. So I'll show you how I did it. Uh, hopefully my hands won't get in the way on this, but what I did on these, I had a real hard time with the first one because I wasn't aware of how jacked up the uh, instructions were but now that I know that so just slide yeah you're not gonna be able to see this what I did is slide it under the under the side and push it up until I can get it It up till I can get it through. The other side went in a lot easier, of course. Then get the other half on, snug down the nut just a little bit. Then take my dead blow. It's gonna be way out of out of spec with the height right now. With it snug, you can pound it down like that. That's dead on right there. So it's it's up underneath the the front of this cell or the back in this case so it's not real easy to put on now that she's a bit tighter I'll get these get these snugged up Yeah, you want to pull them as tight as you can before you start ratcheting. Otherwise, you're going to have a big ball of webbing on your spool here. And at some point, you won't be able to ratchet anymore. Well, I'm all done. I went around and... Tightened up all the ratchet straps and just checked everything, went and uh, tested all the bolts, made sure everything was tight. So she's good to go. These doors, looks like they left a little material on there that you're supposed to split 
but I think I'm going to leave them alone for now and just hop through as it is. Because these, uh, the front of this door has no weight to it, these flop in the wind and they'll unzip. And if you don't catch it right away, it'll destroy the, the door. At least that's what it did on the other ones. We've gone through a bunch of doors. They really need to come up with something for the door bottoms. They have weighted poles for the regular shelters, but these just have nothing. I can see you going through quite a few doors on these. But at any rate, she is done for the day. I'll come back out and clean up my tools after lunch. It's getting pretty late. A little bit later in the winter, I am going to build the benches right here. Right now, I'm thinking three benches and 32 inches wide. Uh, I could get benches on both sides, but I don't think I have enough plants that I'll be planting this spring to do that. I'm going to be planting mostly native wildflowers, well, basically all native wildflowers and native grasses for the Oak Savannah project, which is right back there. You can see my oats is doing pretty good. That's the cover crop for the winter. Um, I think I mentioned that the outside pockets that these pipes go through are, they're actually double folded on the end and uh, sealed. There is no opening going to the pocket on either side of this. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. I'm going to have to contact Shelter Logic, but I will probably just put some boards on that outside and weight it down because we got snow coming and I don't want this freezing, getting caught in the snow and then the snow freezes and then it's... <sighs> And then it's stuck like that for the rest of the winter. So um, I'm going to have to do something for it. I don't want to hack the end open and put the tubes in and like void the warranty. So I'll have to, come on, kitty, let me talk. I'll have to contact uh, Shelter Logic tonight and see what the hell's going on with that. A lot of problems with this thing. Come on, kitty. So that's about it. Um, that and this, the bottom of these ends is just piss poor. I gotta figure something out for that before winter. Kitty, I really have to finish this. Come on, you go down. She's trying to find, figure out a way to either she's gonna climb me or she's gonna, she's gonna jump. What the heck is that? She's going to try jumping up on me. cat some attention before she kills me if you like the videos please subscribe make sure you click on the update icon so you receive notice when we post new videos thanks for watching and have a great day